Okay. Now, um, any problems from the last class? The last class, what did we do? Assertion. And what is an assertion? Factual statement. <laughs> Factual statement about the entities and their relationships in the database. Yeah? That's what an assertion is. Yeah? And you're supposed to get two assertions for each relationship. Yeah. Now, what we're going to do today is the detailed ER diagram. And the detailed ER diagram builds on what we did in the last class, which is uh, listing the assertions for listing the assertions for the database. So the first thing it needs is the preliminary ER diagram or the simplified ER diagram. So it needs the simplified ER diagram as well as the list of assertions. And we use these two to combine them to give us our detailed ER diagram. Now two things once again are very important when we're dealing with the detailed uh, ER diagram. In addition to these two, we need something that we used when we were creating list of assertions, and that is optionality and cardinality. And what did we say optionality was? Yes, zero to one. Can and must. Can and must represented by <laughs> and one. And cardinality is a number, and it represents the number of instances of the instances or occurrences of the entity in the relationship, and that has two values being one and one representing and n representing or many or at least one. So these two things become very important. And of course, once again, I'm going to use the example with the employees and the position to show you how you create the detailed ER diagram using the assertion and the preliminary diagram. Okay, questions? So this is the example that we're going to use. Now, first of all, we have here the employee fills positions, positions filled by employees. And we had two assertions to go with this one relationship. And we wrote them in a very specific way. Uh, let us see if, let us first of all start off by writing them down here. So we have the two assertions related to the one relationship and the two entities. The two assertions being an employee can fill many positions and a position can be filled by many employees. Now, depending on how, depending on how we look at this here, we can have, if we look at it that way and if we look at it that way. The first assertion is based on, let's call this uh, let's call this number one and number two. The top one is number one or number two? So this is number one and naturally this will be number two. 
So depending on how you look at it, these are the assertions that we have. Now, to move from the assertion and the preliminary ER diagram to the detailed ER diagram, all you're really doing is you're documenting these assertions, these two assertions on the diagram. Or should I say you're documenting all of the assertions in your database on the diagram. And how we do that is by indicating optionality and cardinality. We already have the we already have the entity and the relationship. The only thing we do not have on the diagram is the optionality and the cardinality. And those are the two things that we're going to put on the diagram. The way that you put it on the diagram is very simple and it's always done one way. Optionality, colon, cardinality. Therefore, on our diagram, we will have optionality, colon, cardinality, and optionality, colon, cardinality. The question is now, how do you interpret it and how do you put it in there? And how you interpret it and how you put it in is based on this here and these numbers. An optionality of zero, we said meant what? An optionality of one means a cardinality of one means only one, and a cardinality of n means at least one or many. So when you read this out and you translate it there, all you really do is substituting the can and the many and the must and the at least one for numbers and a letter. In this case here, can is zero. Many is down here zero and n. So all we really do now is we put this on the diagram. And the way we put it on the diagram is optionality colon cardinality, optionality colon cardinality. The trick is whether you're looking at it from B to A or from A to B. And what you put between the first entity and the relationship is when you're looking at it from A to B. And what you put on the second one is when you're looking at it the other way. But it is still indicated that way. It's not put in, uh, it's not put cardinality, optionality. It's always optionality, cardinality, regardless of what direction you're looking at it in. So on the first one, when we're looking at it from employee to positions, that is number one. What is our optionality? Zero. Zero. And what is our cardinality? And number two? Simple. Uh, yes, you can. Yes, you can. When you when you become experienced enough, or if you want to, you can actually skip that stage and just take the preliminary diagram. And instead of writing the assertions out, you can put your optionality and your cardinality <coughs> in directly on the diagram because the two are synonymous and you can interchange one for the other. Because once you have this in, you can get that, or once you have that, it's simple to get that. So what it is is that you, you take the preliminary diagram is very important. And once you have the preliminary diagram, you get the assertion. The real purpose of the assertions is to take it back to the client to verify that it's correct. You can take this diagram to the client because this is a very important diagram that documents everything that you have done so far in very, uh, you know, fine detail. However, the client will not understand the diagram. Yeah, you have, to, you, you have to sit down with them and go through the assertions. That is what the client will understand. So that is why that is so important. 
So when we finish now, we can take these out, and our final diagram will look something like this. So you have the 0m, zero 0m zero on both sides. 